Hello, my name is Jan, and I'm the guy who takes care of this ISQ instrument. And uh, it should be already in the cooking system, so once you uh, get through the training, you should be able to book on this machine and then to measure on that machine. For that, you should know how to measure. You should bring your samples uh, to know how to prepare the samples. Ask your master tutor from your group because each group works with a specific compounds and because of that you have a different preparation technique. All the time the rules are simple, keep away of the pollutants and keep the concentration low so the peaks are not in the machine even after you finish your measurement. One more rule now, you should bring the blank sample with you, just with a pure solvent, anything else. In the future there will be a machine blank, but at the moment it's not resolved yet. So you just take your blank, some samples, you get to the machine, here you rotate to the shelf which is green, you see this G label and the color green, and use the E line because that's the line which is predefined. You have quite some uh, vacancies here, if you would need more space, then check with me. For now, let's just submit the normal line, so GE1 for the blank, and then put your side post after the blank. This is it, now you can step to the PC and continue with the configuration on a PC. Once you put it, your samples into the machine, it's time to start from million and submit the samples so you know what is actually in. So you start from million, wait for a short while, and once it started, uh, if it's the first time you are using the machine, you need to create the folder. If you are the first from your group, then you need to create the folder also for the group. So, new folder and you are a part of the amazing group so it's time to admit it next you create the folder once more right click a new folder or you can go here create folder john doe in my case and then you need to have somewhere place where you put your samples so you just copy the template Ctrl C, Ctrl V work, so you can just grab it and move it. It's also possible. And here we submitted just two samples and a blank. So blank for the first try, sample one, sample two. Then we can delete all those samples and then blank at the end. Let's say that the, this one is your experiment rule two. And this one is your experiment to, to fraction 5, for instance. Save it, next to rename it. That it's good to start with a date because then it's ordered alphabetically. So if you set the date, you have automatically an order from the most recent to the one which you measured, for instance, last year or the year before. 08. And then it's also nice to put a name which would identify, for instance, by oscillation. Okay, so this one is set, and now it's time to submit. Ah, oh, one last thing, you need to tell the machine what to do. For instance, we want to measure in methanol in a positive mode, and then you want to apply it for all the injections. You can either click fell down, or you can hit the button F9. Before you click start, it's always a good practice to save your changes first. Then you click start. If you see an error with exclamation mark, then contact me. For this time, I know what is going on. It's because I wanted to show you what can, uh, what can happen, so you can expect it. So I will execute despite the warnings. Now it's running. If you want to see what the machine is doing, at the moment, you can either check the machine visually, of course, or you can go for the instrument. And if you click on audit on top, probably most of the time it will be at home, but you can click the audit. You can see what is going on. You can also check on a queue how the queue looks like. 
if there are some experiments ahead of your sequence. Okay. Let's get back to our data. Click here on the data. And let's wait for a while until the machine measures the set for which we want. Just in the meantime, a few informations about the machine. The machine uses a different type of the injection than our previous machine, the CPX, which you can see in my back. And because of that, it takes more of the sample, around 120 microliters. That means that if you have some really precious sample, it's better to use LCQ fleet at the moment for analyzing that sample because here, you, your loss of the sample will be higher. Okay, finally, our sample sequence is finished. As you can see, it's very beneficial if you run more samples at a time because then you save more than a half of the time if you use blank at the beginning and at the end. So once the acquisition is finished, you double click on any sample which you want to inspect further. Here you click on layout and time spectra pool. You need, you really have to see this wave. If you see the cross, then you are not selecting the time spectra. You need to see the wave, start clicking, and then you can adapt whenever you, wherever you want. Then what you receive on the right side is an average spectrum of the time which you have selected. To verify it, you can see it at this top of the spectrum. Once you have some spectrum selected, you go for Report Designer. And here you have two mass spectra. If you want to have three mass spectra, then you just simply do Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Wait for a while, of course. If you want to have only one, then you can just simply delete the spectra. I made two of them because the first one should have a general view. So here you go for the for the scale. It's the third one. You go from 50 to 1000, for instance. Depends where your peaks are, of course. And then the second spectrum is intended for the detail inside of the peak shape. So double click to it and let's say that we want to see in depth the peak at 451. So we go from 430 to 470. And now we clearly see the isotopic pattern of this peak. It's easy to see. So now probably you want to print it. There will be an upload in PDF soon. Once it will be ready, I will guide you through how to make that one. For now, we want to print it. So go for printer, print. We want to pick only the peak analysis and we want to print it in a Samsung or the current injection. Click OK. Wait for a few seconds. Either click yes or no, it does not matter. Now you see the printout. That's it, you are done. If you wish, you can do it for the other experiment. You need to go once more for the data processing and select the range because otherwise, as you can see, if you don't select the range, Still, you can see that it's experiment number two, X202. Now, if you do the selection, you can see here number three, and then that it's fraction five. Then you go for report designer, once more, print, print, and you have even the print out of this one. Of course, if you want to change what you are viewing, you just reset the ranges as it has been illustrated on the previous one. Last but not least, there is 
one very important step, and that is that you check the blank after it ended. And okay, this is something else. You want more need to go for the layout time spectra tool, select, and just check that there are no big masses in the residual spectrum. In my case, it's the case. I will just check quickly with the fraction 5 to have a comparison. And you can see that the peaks from fraction 5 are gone in this fraction. You also see that the injection peak is way smaller than in the case of the other injections. You can compare it also here in this global PIC view, and you can see that its shape and visual is more or less as the first one. So let's compare the blank at the beginning with the blank at the end. Uh, once more, layout time spectra tool, see a forest, peaks, let's zoom it in a bit, now go for blank one, select, and we see that there is barely any change in the peaks apparent here. That means that you have not made the machine dirty and that the person after you will have the same comfortable experience as you had. For future, there will be an export in the PDF from the system, so the reports will be stored electronically on a network share. So that's it. At this moment, you can just close the chromium. You know that you did the job right. Don't forget to take out the samples. And off. once you have the samples, you are free to go. Okay, good luck.